Okay, hello again. Um, welcome to another lesson. Today we are going to learn how to use Zender on PC. The Zender app that we use for sharing files between phones. We are going to learn how to use it on our PC as well. Uh, before you be able to use Zender on your PC, one thing I want you to do for me is check in my video list or in the description below for a video on how to connect your phone and PC Wi-Fi. So without wasting this precious time, let's go on. For you to get Zender on your PC, you need to get your phone and PC connected on the same Wi-Fi. Since I've already connected my PC and phone Wi-Fi, as you can see over here, with my network name over here connected. It doesn't actually have to be connected into the internet, but basically your phone and PC have to have the same Wi-Fi network connected. Hello, let's go on to my Zender app. So after opening my Zender app, After opening my Zender app, you go to the top right corner where you have the three bars at the top right corner over. Okay, so going on the three dot up there, you are going to get an option to connect to PC, scan to connect, share Zender, phone copy. We are interested in connecting our Zender to our PC, so we are going to choose the connect to pc option when you click on the connect to pc option you're going to get another option that is going to allow you to turn on your hotspot but if you have already connected your hotspot to your pc before starting this process you wouldn't need anything like Then you come to your PC, open any internet browser you have. We have Google Chrome, we have Mozilla Firefox, we have Opera, we have Lora, we have Microsoft Edge, we have Safari and other browsers. Any other browser you are using, just try and open your internet browser on your PC. So I'm using Google Chrome for this lesson. And as I have opened my Google Chrome, for my internet browser, all what I need to do is to type a certain code of numbers. It is very necessary you don't miss any of them. No matter the browser you are using, the number remains the same. No matter the phone you are using, the number remains the same. You can try and memorize this number. So as I type the number, the number is one nine two and you bring dots one six eight and you bring dot four three then you bring dot one then after the one you bring i don't know is it colon yeah something like this colon then you bring the last set of numbers that is three three four five five three three four five five so this is the code one nine two dot one six eight dot four three dot one and colon three three four five five as soon as you enter this number you can just hit enter on your keyboard so if everything goes well, you will get this option that indicates that you need to make a confirmation on your phone and it reads over here, please click accept on your phone in order to connect to this device. So you need to accept the connection on your phone. After you have accepted, after you have accepted the connection on your phone, automatically 
to the final level. That is a confirmation on your screen. Okay, so this is basically how your Zender is going to look from your PC. This is basically how it's going to look. Uh, let's go through the functions and the features over here. This represents images, this represents videos, this represents music, this represents all types of documents in PDF, Word, text, and everything document related. This represents applications you have installed on your phone. And this also represents your internal storage in general. So these options over here can also be seen at the menu bar over here. When you put the mouse on it, you'll be able to see the name of the item you are about to enter. So quickly, let me go to my files, that is my internal storage and see. Over here, it is going to open all the folders I have on my phone. I also have apps over here. And with the apps, I have a lot of apps here. I can also look through my documents and I'm going to read a lot of documents here. I can also go through my music and look through the kind of music I have. Okay. So after you going through the menus, maybe you want to send a file to your phone or you want to take a file out of your phone. If you want to take something out of your phone, let's say there is this music I have on my phone. So let me pick this as the music I want to download. If I'm going to download this, I have to just click on it. And I'll see a symbol here pointing down. When you put the mouse on it, it is indicating download. I just have to click on it. Download. And it is going to start downloading like what I'm downloading from the internet. That is all. Just click on it. And you can see my downloads are reading here. You can see my downloads reading down here. So they are being downloaded. Also, if I'm sending something from my PC to my phone, I don't have to click on any file over here. But rather, if it's something like an image or a music or a video, all what I have to do is I have to just click on the upload video. Upload video. And it is going to bring up my local disk or uh, the storage of my PC. So I, I'm looking for something on my download folder. Okay. I think I don't have any videos in this folder. And so let me go back to where I can get a video. I think I have one video. I just have to click on the video and it is going to open up. So I just click open and you see that it will start loading over here. It will start loading over here. You also get a notification on your phone indicating that a video is being uploaded onto your phone. Okay. Um, this is where we will end for now. I don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you get the latest updates on this tech news and this know-how. Also, um, you can leave me a comment in the comment box if you have any question or if you need any clarification with what I've discussed with you. I'll come your way very soon with another tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.